Welcome to the exclusive interview with DJ Kelvin. I'm DJ Kevin Scratch Supreme of Silverbed Reading 93.7. Uh, I'm from Delta State. Uh, my, my biological names are Kevin Jalogo from Worry South and uh, I'm born local government is Yukolo in Delta State. And I was opportune to get into entertainment, to be precise, DJ, which is this jockey, since 2000, since 1994, precisely, get into it, and I've been on it, started gradually, think to be one of the biggest DJ, and I achieved it, and there are so many more that I achieved till this particular time. What was your growing up like? Yeah, my growing up, um, I would say God is, God is awesome because I came from a polygamous home where I was the only child that my mother gave birth to in my father's home and I didn't even know my mother. I, 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 according to my grandmom, I was creeping where they dropped me to my father and my grandma, my grandmom took care of me all through. You know how it is when your father get married to two wives, you know, saying polygamous own. So, but I was able to get through it because um, God was always on my side. It was somehow, not everything somebody needs to say, but it was somehow, you know, how it is. that's why I always advise people don't go into polygamous home. Were your parents in support of your career choice? Uh, uh, not all. Um, I think my mother has, a, has an issue concerning me being a DJ. You understand? Uh, I think I knew her in 1996 and she's not too much of me so she wasn't too sure of me actually in a sense, because I didn't grow up with her. But my dad as I told my dad, I look, in short, from the day one, when I told my dad I want to go and do this thing, he said, is this what you like? I said, yes, I want to go and do it. He said, man, you are blessed, carry on. That's my dad for you. My dad always supports whatever I said I want to do. How much was your first pay? Oh, <laughs> my first pay, it will shock you. My first pay as a DJ, that was 1996. I think uh, 900 naira, 900 naira, that money was so big then, <laughs> that 900 naira was so big, it's, it's like 100,000 naira nowadays. <laughs> How did you get onto radio? Yeah, getting into radio, it was awesome, it was something I told God that. Uh, I, I really don't want to stress myself being as a DJ. I don't want to stress myself. I want to be somewhere that I will be more pronounced and loud without stressing myself. And I actually prayed for it. I prayed for it and I met LD. What's your name? I said, my name is Kevin. And uh, he said, okay, let's see what you got. And LD now said, okay, I will handle the afternoon drive, just DJ afternoon drive. So I took my music to the studio. When I was playing, the guy came in and he was like, wow, are you in this portacourt? I said, yes, I'm in this portacourt. He said, you do not play this music like Nigeria DJ, that you play like foreigners. That's where I saw DJ playing like this, was in South Africa. So I said, I'm in, I'm in portacourt. I said, I'm in portacourt. So it was awesome. So I was supposed to be auditioned for 30 minutes. He said, man, you can go ahead for the, for the next one hour. So that was how I finished everything. And it was fast, it was fast. When I left, I think the, the following, the third, the third day, I'll be the second day, LD called me on phone, man. You pass your test, man. And that was how I came into radio. Will you be proud to call yourself the best DJ in South South and South East? I am the best DJ, you understand? Because uh, when I think of all I've done, and all the recognition, I'm well recognized in the entire South South. 
as DJ Kevin without even being in the event of the uh, uh, of the occasion where they give their award to to, t to tell you how all this thing is it's not it's not arrangy it's not um, ganging up with some people and because of award I don't even know when they they do their their event I will be in the office they will just bring an award that hey, yesterday they gave you an award as the the DJ for so so thing so so thing and one of the biggest one was the the, the, the best DJ in South South. The ninth the uh, uh, ND, NDDA award, which is the best DJ is in Niger Delta. So they, they brought, they called me one night and oh boy, you don't win the best DJ for the whole of South Sato. And I said, glory, I just give thanks to God. You understand? It was awesome. It was awesome. I'm saying it, saying it. I'm, I'm the best DJ. I'm the best DJ. You understand? You you got you got to acknowledge it that I am the best DJ. That's why I've been successful for more than 15 years. Successful for more than 15 years. What advice will you give to people who want to do what you are doing? Yeah. Those people that is coming up have a vision. Have a vision. Think of something for yourself. Have something for yourself. Don't go and be a DJ. You, you definitely you may be inspired through somebody, but as soon as you you enter into this uh, DJ sector, what you need to do is to carve something unique, different from yourself. Don't come and join those other people. Uh, yeah, I know some of some of these DJs, some of these DJs around because of one or two things. Uh, the, the dad is not there. The mom is not there. They are thin, they soil before before they get feed. It doesn't make you you join DJ for a funny reason. You want to become a DJ, you want to go to a party and be collecting some small small naira, small small one naira. You will remain there forever. So the advice I have for you guys, man, as you come, carve something for yourself. Think of something. God gave us wisdom, and I make use of my wisdom. Like myself, you know. I rebrand my name, DJ Kevin. You understand? I come with a program called DJ Kevin's Crash Supreme Unchained. I know some of you are wondering what is the meaning of the Unchained. Just like I am off the hook of my my my, my talent, of the skill I have. So on the event, what I do is to unveil some of my skill on the event. Then after then, celebrate people that were born on the month. So I have something unique for myself. What will you say to Browse? Yeah, Browse Ninja. Um, I think I know Browse Ninja since uh, uh, 2015, if I'm not mistaken. And you were pushing. Most of the questions you asked me here today, and I think you were fulfilling some of those things. You were growing up <laughs> and you were moving there. And I know after now, you'll be on the extreme height of it in Port Harcourt. You you sell from here to every part of the world. You understand? That's what consistency does with people. You understand? So I just have to tell you that keep it up. This is the the, the process to to a greater height. You started somewhere and now there is camera with a new brand new idea to go up with it. And I think consist consistency uh, is in you, is working in you, and you are getting to a greater level of this uh, idea of where you are going to. I believe you are going somewhere, and you are on the step to that place. And by God's grace, you are there. Thank you for coming. We're pleased to have you.